we will be discussing which are very very important children it's very very important and it is very scoring topic actually so the chapter name is how do organisms reproduce it is the fifth lecture of that now today's topic is types of asexual reproduction so there are different methods or different ways or different types of the asexual reproduction the first method is the fission the first method of the asexual reproduction is fission the second method is fragmentation fragmentation the third method is regeneration the third method is regeneration the fourth method of asexual reproduction is budding then fifth method is spore formation so spore formation and the last method is vegetative proper gation so these are the six different types of the asexual methods or asexual reproduction the first type is fission the second is fragmentation third is regeneration fourth is budding fifth is spore formation and sixth is vegetative propagation good, good evening shubhansh so sixth is vegetative propagation so these are the six different ways these six different ways are actually followed by the different organism fine some of them they do the fission process some of them they do the fragmentation some of them they do the regeneration so do you uh, now you tell me like out of these uh, six out of these six which method we do is there any method out of this six which we do no very good uria no we do not do any of those methods why asumuk we do not do any of these methods why we do not do any of these methods what is asexual reproduction asumuk what is asexual reproduction Only? it belongs to the plants only one parent will be there right in the asexual no. reproduction only one parent will be there now what happens if only one parent is there can i give birth to someone can i give birth to the child without a male no right so that is the reason that we do not follow the asexual reproduction method because what do we need we need the two individual male and the female all right so that is the reason we do not follow these six methods so, so these six methods will be followed by the different organism and the plants also some of the plants they do these process so we will be starting with the first method which is the fission have you ever heard this word fission any time anywhere in any of the book from i think they had it in eighth grade like we had a fragmentation budding and fission correct pranaya it was in the eighth grade reproduction in animal chapter and the great seventh also it was there but any one of you is aware of the meaning uh, the fission what is fission so the amshu kashvi driti turn on your video meher ayonija fission ma yeah it Haren? roughly means uh, combination hmm? of two or more things no see when we talk about the fission uh, like for example if i have this pen okay i have this pen if i break this down it is a fission basically dividing something breaking down something in this case what we are breaking down the organism fine so fission is a process by which the individual will divide into two or more organism so what happened in their case 
fission means to divide their own body will divide into two or more individual fine now if i have a piece of a paper if i have suppose for example if i have this piece of paper what i am doing i am just tearing it okay i am just tearing into different different parts different different pieces so this is one this is the second one okay this second one now what happen in this case will they grow no right so they will not grow but in the case of the organism when the whole parent for example now this is the parent i have divided them into three okay one two and this one is a third one in the case of the organism these all three now what do they do they grow individually they do not need their parent all right so main main parent is this one from this what we did they have broken their body they have divided their body into two find this two body we have got now this two body we have got now now this two organism what do they do they will be enjoying their life they will be growing individually they will be living individually and after some time when they grow what do they do again they will divide into two here and this also will divide into two here so how many we have got now four right with the right four now this four individually they will grow they will not be worrying that where is the parent because the parent they themselves has divide right so they will not be worried of anything now we have got four this four will growing eating growing living individually and after some time when they become mature what happen again this four will divide into eight eight, eight. very good abina they will divide into eight now this eight individually they will be living together they will be living individually and growing so that is what basically the fissions am i clear children with this example now yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma kashvi ayonija shubansh pranaya am i clear with this example yes, meher yes ma'am yes ma'am okay yes, ma so if i talk about the real example of this fission it is the amoeba actually okay before that we'll go to the types of the fission in the fission also we have two different category one is binary fission i'll just share the screen otherwise what happen you'll get confused. use with it so fission is what dividing the organism into two or more individuals individuals so first let us now write about the fission so the first method is the fission so in the fission it is the it is a mode of asexual reproduction which occur which occurs in unicellular organism abigya what do you mean by unicellular organism single cell also very good single cell so those organism made up of single cell they are called as unicellular so this mode of reproduction is basically seen in the unicellular organism only such as amoeba then paramecium then euglena so they are the some of the examples of it and these examples are children very very important because sometimes what do they do they ask you to write the two examples of the fission so at least two examples you should know amoeba and paramecium or amoeba and euglena so it is very important then what happens in this process it involves the division of the parent body into two or more daughter individual so what happen in this case the parent body will divide and they will be forming the two or more daughter 
individuals and how they will be they will be identical to their parents identical to parents why they are identical because they are they have come from the parent body that is the reason they are identical till here till i am clear to you yes ma'am write this fast so that we can go ahead with the next one ma'am can you once more the previous slide after okay okay ma'am got it hmm फर्स्ट पेज दिस वन यस मैम वन मिनट मैम ओके थैंक यू ओके Done, children. With this page, shall we go to the next topic? Bahar, Sudamshu, Kashmi, Moksha, Riti, Abigya, Shubansh, Puriya. Then, okay. Now, here, this fission is basically has two types of it. So, fission has two major types. called as the binary fission and the multiple fission so fission is divided into two more types called as the binary fission and multiple fission and this binary fission again divides into two types called as the called as the irregular binary fission so binary fission again divided into two types irregular binary fission and the longitudinal longitudinal binary fission so fission has two major types binary fission and multiple fission and this binary fission again divided into two which is irregular and the longitudinal binary fission so one by one now we will be discussing about all these four terms binary fission multiple fission irregular binary fission and longitudinal fission so just draw this and then we will be moving further so this is a first type here this is second type and the binary fission this is the first type and here the second type of it Dan children. Yes. Okay. Now uh, first yes, one. Okay. Okay, ma'am. The first one is the binary fission. The first one is binary fission. Talking about the binary fission, basically in the word itself, you can see. it is given very clear definition in the word itself by what do you mean by by two correct it means two and as i told you what is fission division okay dividing. yeah dividing yeah division so by means two and fission means division so binary fission is a kind of the fission where the individual or the organism will be dividing into 
टू इक्वल हाफ ओके सो इट इज द डिविजन ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल इन टू टू इक्वल हाफ सो इन दिस बाइनरी फिशन वॉट हैपन्स द इंडिविजुअल विल बी डिवाइडिंग इन टू टू इक्वल हाफ एंड ईच ऑफ दम सो दीज टू इक्वल हाफ ईच ऑफ विच वॉट डू दे डू दे विल बी फंक्शनिंग एज अ नॉर्मल इंडिविजुअल सो ईच ऑफ विच functions as an independent so they are not caring that what the other is doing so independently they are living so independent daughter individual they are working so it is a division of the body of an individual into two equal half and each each organism or each equal half will be functioning independently so that is what the binary fission is am i clear children yes ma'am yes ma'am yes Puri, am I clear? Driti, am I clear? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So binary fission, where the individual will be dividing into two equal halves, and each of which will be functioning independently. So see, children, here nothing is there. You know, to mug up. You just, you should just understand the meaning of it, and you can write in your own words. it should not be you know you should have to copy my words exactly into the copy don't do that understand it and write in your own words so binary fission is a process where or it's a kind of the division where the individually will be dividing the individual will be dividing into two or more two equal halves and each equal halves will be living independently or working or growing independently now two types of it are there right as we have discussed the first type is the okay first we'll see how they are actually the type so depending upon depending upon the plane of division depending upon the plane of division binary fission is of two types what do you mean by plane of division method of what do you division. mean by plane method of division or any other types. answer shape okay. ha huh? shape plane means any any uh, kind of the surface actually so uh, if you have the table if i divide them into any plane any division so that is what actually the plane means like uh, if i say letter a i have okay letter a if i divide it from the center here longitudinal what i will be getting i will be getting the equal right and equal left am i correct if i divide it from the center longitudinally i will be getting the equal right and equal left so this is what is a plane so the place where you divide the individual or the organism that is called as a plane of division the other example if i take letter c if this letter c i divide them maybe from here from the center of that so what i what do i get i get the two equal halves of it correct yes so this is what the plane of division but if i if i say like you know uh, maybe uh, like in the starfish we have or the amoeba we have so in the amoeba if i divide them like this is it the plane of division no ma'am 
Mm-hmm. Yes, it is actually. So any any division where any kind of the line which divides the individually into two or more, that is the plane of division. So this one line, one division, what it is doing? It is dividing the amoeba into two parts. This is the first part, the second part. So it is the plane of division only. Right? So plane of division. So depending on the plane of division, how we divide them, it is of two types. So the way how we divide them, it is of two types. The first one is the irregular. As the name say irregular. So what it denotes? Do they have any fix? Huh? Tell me. No, no, they don't have a fixed shape. Very good. They do not have the fixed actually division. From anywhere they divide themselves. And in the second case, longitudinal. What do you mean by longitudinal? Yes, children, what do you mean by longitudinal? It means a straight division. Vertical. Yeah, vertical division. Fine. So, irregular binary fission is basically the division can occur through any plane. So through any plane, through any area, what happened? The division can occur through any axis. Fine. So that is the plane of division can pass through any axis. Any axis. Example here is amoeba. So amoeba does not have the regular shape. Now what happened if I draw amoeba like this? So in this case, irregular division, the division can be from here. Okay, this is the first division. Now next time what happened? Next time the division was maybe from here. So from here. So this is what the irregular from any axis, the organism can divide into two individual. It is compulsory that they should have the two individual. This is the first one, this is the second one. This is first one here, this is the second one. So always they will have only two individual in the case of the binary fission. And in the case of irregular, they do not have any fixed axis. From any axis, they can divide. That is what the irregular binary uh, division, fission or division. Understood, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Whereas, in the case of the longitudinal, the plane of fission passes along the longitudinal axis. Longi axis. So the plane of the division will be there towards the longitudinal of the organism which means vertically. For example in the case of the Lishmania. Lishmania is basically a protozoa. Okay, So what do they do? Their body is dividing in a plane which is from the center, which is longitudinally. Fine. Then euglena also. You might have seen the euglena in your like maybe the class 8. Like this the euglena will be. So what do they do? They will be dividing from here, from the center longitudinally. So that is why we call them as the longitudinal binary fission. So here also what is happening? Two organisms will be formed. One on the left, one on the right. One on the left, one on the right. And in the case of the irregular also, two individual are formed. That is why these two types are coming under the binary fission. Am I clear, children? Yeah. 
yes, yes first ma'am. of all tell me children am yes, i clear ma'am. to you yes ma'am. Ma'am. this is a very very important actually topic so binary fission dividing the individual into two organism fine it is two type irregular and longitudinal in the case of the irregular the organism will be dividing from any axis through any plane they will be dividing but how many individual they will be forming two in the case of the longitudinal they will be dividing longitudinally which is vertically and in this case also how many individual will be there two and that's the reason they are called as a binary fission am i clear driti yes ma'am very good uh, sumukh so am i clear yes ma'am ma'am can you show once the uh, yeah. notes of longitudinal yeah i'm i'm showing i'm showing it i'm showing it ahuria uh, am i clear to you yes ma'am okay i'll just uh, show you the screen again so that you can write it and children this is not given in your book about the irregular and longitudinal section it is not given there so make sure that you write it and did this question come in the boards <laughs> definitely it is coming actually prana you know always they ask the difference between the binary and the multiple fission so you should know it compulsory most of the year they ask about the binary fission so this is a very very important type of reproduction i'm going to be taught is leishmania ma'am leishmania is a type of the protozoa fine a protozoa parasitic protozoa who live inside the body of the host they need someone to survive actually okay ma'am so note this down the difference between the irregular and the longitudinal binary fission and children the diagram which i have you know drawn it just draw it because with that what happened whenever you revise it you will get to know you will understand in a better way so what it does it mean can you show the diagram yeah so this diagram you can draw it the next one so the upper one two are for the uh, binary one the same uh, irregular one from any axis we can divide them and the down one is for the longitudinal so vertically only we should divide them Ma'am, longitudinal binary fission—it uh, does not happen in amoeba. No, it does not happen in amoeba. It does not support it basically, because why they do not do it? Because they have indefinite structure. They do not have the you know a fixed shape as they move. Changing. Yeah, they keep on changing. That is the reason. If they try also, they will not be able to do it. Ma'am, uh, this Lashmania is uh, longitudinal, ma'am. Yes, they are longitudinal. Dan children. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now in the uh, next class, we will be uh, discussing about the amoeba. Children, so, have you seen the amoeba in your maybe lab under the microscope? Did you saw that? no are your uh, teachers taking you to the lab yes ma'am till now they didn't take us to the lab <laughs> okay this they, happens ma'am they took us remember they never showed amoeba okay ahuria for you they have taken you to the lab right yes but then they only show like you know the the basic stuff like the cheeks okay. and all okay next time you know when you go to the lab just ask your teacher to show you the amoeba okay tell them school has so many facilities 
they do not need it actually uh, huria just what you need is a pond water okay so uh, with the help of the pond water when you keep it keep uh, the drop of water under a microscope you will be able to see them we, uh, we don't have pond water yet in my school yet no you don't have okay so maybe from somewhere you can collect it if you have Just actually there is a desert actually so it won't have any On- pond Korea, they might have this slide actually, permanent slide. You ask them that if I they have the, you. yeah, if they have the permanent slide, children see everybody uh, for you all also. Uh, if everyone, if every one of you should ask your teacher to show you the permanent slide of amoeba, okay? Huh? There you will be able to see. how the amoeba actually when they divide how they look like actually okay they divide with the different steps and when you see them dividing you will be able to feel it actually and in real when you take the pond water you can see them dividing they keep on dividing every time as i think last time also we have discussed like you know within less than a seconds also they will be dividing and they will you know they will be forming uh, so many individual so we will be discussing how do they divide in the next class the amoeba what is the different process for them what are the different steps for them and this steps are very important for the board exams every year for two marks they ask every year they ask for two marks that you need to describe the method of reproduction in amoeba how does amoeba they divide how they form the individual to individual so fine that we will be discussing in the next class if any any doubt you have you can ask me right away moksha when hmm? will we have practicals in this board ma'am definitely you will have i will be teaching you every practical see whether your school okay, is conducting or not that is different actually but for me as a teacher i'll be doing it i'll be teaching you every practical whatever is related to your portions fine this chapter uh, see i have the slide at my home actually but i don't know how i'll be showing you if i have to show you uh, how to show you because i don't have a microscope <laughs> so i have all the slides like you know amoeba also paramecium i have parenchyma colenchyma you might have done in the class 9 that also i have then uh, testes also ovary also i have uh, so each and every slide i have but i don't know how to show you but you ask your teacher you request your teacher if they can show you at least the amoeba slide then it will be helpful for you to understand okay and definitely practicals we will be doing it in the class we will be discussing and i'll be giving you so many practical based questions also to work on fine so once we are done with all the practicals i'll be giving you maybe you know 100 of questions related to the practicals so that you can work on and these practical questions actually not only helpful for your to score in the practical exam but also for your main exams because the topics are related if i talk about reproduction in amoeba it is there in the practical also it is there in your main topic also correct if i talk about photosynthesis it is there in a main chapter also it is there as a practical also so everything is connected nothing is like you know new actually in the practical am i clear children yes why the other videos are off children we all are looking so so good right so pretty we all are looking and boys are looking handsome then why the videos are off ma'am why do they need to reproduce so fast like with a, within a second like what's the use nature actually there is no use actually there is no use they are not useful at all but they certainly that is actually the nature who has given them so that is the reason they are dividing they are multiplying and as a human we are taking lot of time that is our nature our you know god gifted kind of thing So imagine if we humans we would have divided so 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 fast, then in front of me, you know, at the side of me, I would have that hundred people sitting around me, right? So thankfully, the God did not give us this gift to divide so soon. Ma'am, do viruses and all they die really fast or something like one of these? Ah, uh, Prana, the virus actually they do not die. Die, yeah. They do not die. Ah, uh, they just you know become non-living for some time. and once they get the host they become living again so do not die and that is the reason you know each and every organ is each and every microbe they are immortal they do not die they are present everywhere in my hand in the stylus on my phone 
everywhere if you see your hands also that is why just wash your hands and eat right smoke chai sing the hand <laughs> so everywhere we have them actually each and every place we have them so we cannot see them like you know with our eyes but yes if you if you see under the microscope if you have the magnifying uh, lens or the hand lens then through that you will be able to see them at least some of them not every but yes some of them okay and children for two days you don't have the math class but sunday you will have the math class okay and today today you don't have two days on today sunday, and tomorrow I, i won't be able to attend who are not there on sunday children just tell me right away because it should not be like half of the class is there half is not there abhinav is not there any other children who is not available i'm not sure i have to see if i go out maybe then i won't be there shall we keep it in the morning at 11 Yes, ma'am. Amma will be busy all day. No problem, Abhi. Enough. In your case, Ah, uh, Driti said yes. Abigya, Puriya, Moksha, yes. Sunday at eleven. Um, usually last week we did the first eleven, but then I'll try. Um, usually I have what? I have, I have a class uh, between nine to eleven. So then, Meher, can we keep it at twelve in the night? Ma'am, ma'am, any time is fine for me. I'm always free. Okay, then I who said adjust. like uh uh nine to eleven have the class? Okay, Sumuk has said okay. Then Sumuk, can we keep it at twelve? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Then we'll keep it at twelve. Okay, so twelve maths class will be there on Sunday, in place of today and tomorrow. All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, children. Then thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Ah, tell me, Mahir. Ma'am, can you share bye. me the previous MCQ question answers? Like answers marks, you want? Marks like the previous MCQ test. Mahir, which MCQ test you're talking about? Ma'am, the last week, the previous week. Last week we had the subjective, and before that you're talking about, right? Yes, ma'am. I'll just tell you. Wait, wait. Just straight away, I'll tell you how much marks you have got. It just a minute. Science. Uh, hmm. On ninth of June, we had it, right? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, Meher, you have got fifteen out of forty. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So work. Okay, work. Little more if you work, then definitely, Mahir, you will be scoring good marks because I have seen you. You initially you were not actually answering, but nowadays you have started doing it, right? So definitely will be scoring good marks. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Fine. Thank you, ma'am.